Welcome back to Mountsburg Conservation Area. Let's find out what our next question is going to be. Hi, my name is Alyssa and I want to know why turkey vultures are bulls. Wow, what a great question. We're here at Mountsburg Conservation Area to find out what makes turkey vultures bald. Professor Turkey Vulture, you must know the answer to this one. If only turkey vultures could talk. Let's go see if we can find some kids to give us the answer. Because they can't fly? Or they don't have bones? Because, because they never got a haircut and they did it themselves. Wow. Those were some creative ideas. Now, let's go find our expert. Sarah the Bird Nerd knows a lot about birds. Thanks for your question about turkey vultures. So turkey vultures have bald heads for sort of two different reasons. The first reason is to help them thermoregulate. So that means keeping their body at a good temperature. When they're really hot, they will take all the skin around their neck and stretch it out and stretch their necks up really nice and tall. They'll spread out their wings and puff out all their body feathers to allow all of the heat to escape. When they're cold, they'll tuck their wings in, tuck their feathers in, and they'll take that skin with all the feathers around their neck and kind of put it up like a hood we would for on a cold day. The other reason why turkey vultures have bald heads is to help them stay nice and clean. Turkey vultures are scavengers, so they're finding leftover food items from other animals in the forest. It could be something like a carcass that a coyote pack has left behind, and the only bits that are left are deep inside the rib cage. So a turkey vulture has to use its nice long head and neck to reach way deep inside that rib cage to find the last little bits of its meal. Imagine if you had your favorite bowl of pasta that you got to eat, but you couldn't use your hands and you couldn't use utensils. If you had long hair like me, or long feathers on your head like other types of birds, you would get super messy. But if you had little or no feathers on your head like a turkey vulture or really short hair, the mess wouldn't be so bad. Turkey vultures will also sit out in the sun and help the sun to crust and bake off all those juicy bits that they then sort of scratch off like a dog later on. Awesome. There you have it. You wanted to know why turkey vultures are bald. And we found it was one of two reasons. One was to thermoregulate when it's too hot or too cold for them. The other was to stay clean because nothing is messier than a roadside cleanup. Thanks again to Sarah the Bird Nerd, and of course, Professor Turkey Vulture. And now, it's time for a conservation tip. Today's tip is all about ducks and geese, sometimes referred to as waterfowl. You may find waterfowl at a pond or a lake, much like this one. Now, it's really fun to feed birds, but there are good and bad things to feed them. For example, bread is not a good thing to feed birds. It is not in their natural diet, and in some cases, it can harm their ability to fly. On the other hand, getting them a balanced diet with leafy greens encourages them to grow up healthy and strong. Thanks for joining us today on Conservation Kids. Thank you.